Hello, my first graders. Today, we are working on our chapter one review. We're going to have a test on that um, coming up soon. So we're gonna take two days to practice for our first math test. So we're starting on page 61. Okay, so find page 61. If you're not there yet, just pause the video and find the page. Okay, so chapter one, review for test. So this is very much like your test. And tomorrow when you go on your computer and practice, your computer one is very, very much like your test. So you wanna just take your time and you wanna think about what you're doing. And if you're having any problems on these, then you can ask mom and dad, mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or aunt or uncle, whoever you're working with, to make some uh, separate problems on the side for you to try to solve, just for extra review. All right, let's look at our first problem. Two bears and one more bear. How many bears? So we have to choose. Let's look at our thing. Two bears plus one more bear. So let's count them all. One, two, three. There are three bears. Okay, write the addition problem. Well, this is like what we did the other day with our problem going down. So let's look. How many birds do we start with? How many more do we get? All right, think about our first number. What goes here? How many birds? Three. One, two, three. Plus, how many more birds? Two. So how many do we have all together? Remember, that's our equal sign. What do we do to see how many are all together? Hopefully you said let's count them all. Count all the birds. Write your answer in. What did you get? I got five. Hopefully you did too. Three plus two equals five. Okay, now we're going to show two ways to make six. So remember, we're gonna, you're gonna pause for your crayons. Go find your crayons. Okay, now that you have your crayons, okay, we can do this problem. If you don't have your crayons, pause and go get them. Okay, color two ways to make six. Well, there's many ways that we can do that. So remember, that means some of these are one color and some of the, them are a different color. So could I color in one red and the rest blue if I wanted to? Yes, I could, but that's not my only way I can do it. I can do it other ways. Remember, if you need to pause at any time to finish your coloring, go ahead. Okay, so now I need to do this a different way. Well, I'm gonna still start off with red first. Hmm. Could I color two of these cubes red? Yes, I could. Could I color three of them red? Yes. How about four? Absolutely. How about five? Yep. Could I color all six red? Yes, I could. There's many different ways to do this. So I'm just, to make it easy, I'm just gonna color two. So the only one I couldn't do is, can I just color only one red? And the rest blue? No, I can't because that would be the same as this one. I have to make it different. So to make it different, I can color in two or three or four or five or even all six. And then the rest are going to be blue. So again, if you need to pause to finish coloring, go ahead. Okay. When you're finished your coloring, you turn the page and press play. Okay, at the top it says choose all the pictures that show adding zero. So boys and girls, I'm gonna give you a little hint right here. See this word all? When they ask us to choose all the pictures that show adding zero, when they use the word all, that means there is more than one answer. Okay, when they say choose all because that means more than one. So that means there are more than one that I have to pick. 
So let's look which ones show adding zero. Zero plus six equals six. Does that does this picture and this and this number sentence show adding zero? Yes, it does. So I'm going to fill in this dot. But look through these pictures. There's another way that shows adding zero. Remember, adding zero would mean plus zero or zero plus. Do you see zero in one of the other problems? Yes, right here. Six plus zero. Here it is down here. Six plus zero equals six. Both of these problems show zero on one side, so it's adding zero. This one can't be it because it has a one and a five. There's no zero. This has a six and a one. No zero. So these two answers are what we want. Okay. All right. This says draw lines to match addition sentences with the same add-ins in a different order. So we need to match one of the top problems to one of the bottom problems. Remember, showing add-ins in a different order means we're changing or just flipping our numbers. 2 plus 3, 3 plus 2. And our answer is 5 no matter how we turn it, right? Okay, so changing the add-ins in a different order means that we're switching the numbers we're putting together. But our answer stays the same. So let's look here. They did this for us. 8 plus 2 equals 10. Well, if we switch the 8 and the 2, it's 2 plus 8, right? 8 and 2, 2 and 8. Switching. Okay, so we're going to connect this line. All right, look at this one. 2 plus 7 equals 9. Okay, if we change our add-ins, instead of 2 plus 7, what would it be? Would it be 5 plus 4 or 7 plus 2? Look at our add-ins. Our add-ins are 2 and 7. 2 plus 7? 7 plus 2. Look, same numbers just in a different order. All right, let's look at our last one. Now, I always tell boys and girls, don't just go whoop and go like that. You gotta make sure that it's the right one. This is a good way to check your work to see if you have any mistakes. Four plus five, okay, our add-in equals nine. Our add-ins are four and five. So then let's look down here. Instead of four plus five, we switch it around. 5 plus 4. So look down here. 5 plus 4. Our add-ins are in a different order. They switch them around. Okay. Down here. It says draw. They have a strolling cube, so we're going to do circles. Draw circles to show adding 2. Draw the circles. Write the sum. So let's see. Here's our problem. We're going to make our, draw our picture, which is our circles two ducks and three more ducks. Two ducks and three more ducks. Two plus three. Well, they want us to draw a picture to match. So how many circles do we need for the first number? Two. How about for the next number? Three. How many do we have all together? Remember, what do we do? We count all of our circles. What did you get? Hopefully you said five. Okay, if you didn't get five, go back and check your circles and recount. All right, five plus two. Pause your video for a minute. Try this one. Draw your circles and answer it. Okay. Five lions and two more lions. Five plus two. Hopefully you drew five circles and two circles. And when you count them all together, seven. If you didn't get seven, take a pause, check out your circles, and try counting them again. Okay. 
says write each addition sentence in the box that shows the sum. Okay, so this is a little new, but these show up often in our math book. They want us to answer these questions and then write the problem in the box it goes. So let me show you what they mean. We're going to start with 4 plus 3. Now, we might need another paper to do our circles on if you can't fit them underneath, okay? But we can try. So 4 plus 3. So I can make my 4 circles. I'm going to make them kind of small. Plus my 3 circles. How many does that equal? Well, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is what I teach my first graders. We write the number 7 on top. That way, it makes, us, makes it easier for us to remember where we want to put our problem. So because this equals 7, I'm going to write it down here in this box. I don't need to rewrite my circles. I'm just going to write 4 plus 3. That's it. I don't even need to put equals 7 because it's in the box that everything in this box has to equal Seven. So now let's try this one. Three plus four. Ooh, some of you might be thinking already. We just did four plus three. Now we're doing three plus four. Some of you might know the answer right away. Okay, if we don't, we can do our circles. There's my three circles. Here's my four circles. Three plus four. I count them all together. What did you get? Seven. So guess what? This goes in my seven box. And some of you might have noticed you had four plus three equals seven in the first problem. And then they switched it around, right? Switched our add-ins. Three plus four. Same thing. Okay, so now we have to write it in our box. Three plus four. Remember, I don't need to say equals seven because that's it's in the seven box. All right, now I'd like you to pause and try these. Add three plus three. If you need to use another paper for your circles, you can, or you can put them underneath. Okay, write your answer at the top and then stick it in the right box. When you're done, hit play to check your work. Okay, if you're hitting play, that means that you are finish writing your answers and you put them in the boxes. All right, let's check and see how we did. Three plus three. Well, if you did your circles, you counted them, it equals six, and then you put it into the six box. Three plus five, if you did your circles, counted them, it equals eight, and then you put it in the eight box. And our last one, five plus three. Oh, wait a minute, maybe you noticed it was the same. Three plus five, five plus three. The same, right? Equals eight. And then you put it in the eight box. Okay, so if you made a mistake, pause the video, fix your mistake. All right, let's look at our go deeper. Max has five red marbles and four blue marbles. Then he gets one more. How many marbles does Max have? Okay, so let's look at our problem. He has five red marbles, four blue marbles, then he gets one more. How many marbles does Max have? Well, they want us to draw our work. So what's our first number? Five. So let's draw five. We'll write the number five. Let's draw five circles. Okay. What's our next number? Four. So let's draw four circles. And what's our last number? One. Let's draw one circle. Now they want to know how many do we have all together. So what should we do with all these circles? Count them. Go ahead and count all your circles. Write your answer right here. Ooh, 
What did you get? I'm putting my answer in. Put your answer in. Ten. If you counted all the circles, you got ten. If you didn't get ten, you want to pause the video, check your circles, and then count them all together again. All right. Look down here. Think smarter. There are two people in the house. More people go in the house. Oh, more people. That means that we've got a missing number. Then there are six people in the house. How many people go in the house? Okay, here's our box. Remember we looked at this, our bar model? Okay, so we have two plus something equals six. So when we talked about this, we said there's two different ways to solve this. One way is that we can put our two at the top and see how many more circles do we need to make to get to six, okay? Or we said we could make six circles and then we already know that two of them are in one half and see how many else do we have? Two or one is one part, how, what's our other part? Count our circles. Four, four is our other part. Two is one part, four is the other. Or we could have done it this way. Here's two, if I make one more, it's three, four, five, six. So two plus four equals six. So we can fill in the number four in this spot too. 2 plus 4 equals 6. So you decide which way that you want to solve it. Usually this is the easier way where we draw our six circles out because we know how many we have and then we say okay well one part is 2 how many else what is the other part which we saw is 4. Usually this is the easier way. Okay if you need to pause you can if not we're turning the page. All right we are going to cross this one out, okay? We're not worried about those dominoes at the top. Okay, let's look down here. It says draw a model to show that one plus four is the same as four plus one. Show how you know. Well, Right, one plus four, four plus one, they're the same, aren't they? Right, we took the add-ins and we put them in a different order. So we're gonna show it by drawing, because it says draw a model to show. So we're gonna draw a picture. So we're gonna rewrite our problem. One plus four, and we need our equal sign, don't we? Okay, let's draw our picture. One plus one, two, three, Four. What does that equal? Well, we count them. One, two, three, four, five. One plus four equals five. Okay, and then we can draw our other picture. Four plus one. Four plus one equals. Well, if one plus four equals five, four plus one also equals Five. Very good, but let's draw our picture because they asked us to draw to show that. So if we count them all, one, two, three, four, five, we get five. So we're showing that it's the same thing, just in a different order. See, one and four, four and one. All right, that's how we show. We know it's the add-ins are in a different order. All right, so practice, and then tomorrow you're going to practice on your personal math trainer. Okay, your personal math trainer will look very similar to your test, almost exactly the same problems, just different numbers.